and welcome to Fan Fiction News. I'm your anchor, Mr. Coiny. Today, tragic news in the Harry Potter world. Hermione Granger has gone back to rehab for the fifth time, and rumours of Harry and Ron's relationship continue. But before we go to interviews, we're going to go to Richard Hills, our charming weather girl, for the weather. What have you got for us, Richard? Thank you, Mr. Coin. It's set to be a bleak night in the world of wizarding tonight. As you can see, there is a high presence of lightning showers up in the north of Scotland. Uh, the Dark Lord himself is currently moving down the east coast. And the Met Office have issued a severe warning to all flying on dreams tonight to avoid the area of Leeds um, due to a high presence of Dementors about. Now back to the main story with Mr. Coyne. Thank you, Richard. Now to an exclusive interview with the cast of Harry Potter. Hello there, Harry Potter. Nice to meet you. Might have heard of me. Several books and films. Quite famous. Lightning Scar. Lord Voldemort. Dementors. All that sort of stuff. Let's crack on, shall we? Nice to meet you, Harry. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. And you as an actor, afraid of being typecast as Harry Potter. An actor? Me? I am Harry Potter. The world's greatest... I've never been so insulted in all my life. I'm the world's greatest wizard. It's my name on the front of those bloody books. But Hermione or Ron's, those bloody idiots. It's a one-man band, baby. That's All right. right. Now, is, is this interview going to be finished in a minute? I've got to go and kill Lord Voldemort. One more question, Harry. You try out for Star Wars and got sacked for getting your lines wrong? Sacked? I didn't get sacked. I left, darling. I'm beneath that sort of crap. Star Wars. It's all about Harry Potter these days, you know, Star Wars. Say 25 years ago, you know, they kept on saying I got my lines wrong, but no, no, it's the, you know, conflict with the director. I think I'll just stick to Harry Potter in the future, you know. Harry, I am your father. Lord Voldemort, my father? No, it's really a twat! Now for our second exclusive interview with Ronald Weasley. Are you okay today, Ron? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. How do you feel about working with Harry? Oh, it's a brilliant experience. It's it's wonderful. You could almost say orgasmic. Oh, it's so big, Ronald. Have you been shaving? Oh, shh, Harry, I'm in an interview. What, oh, Shani? Oh. <laughs> so yes, we, we work very well together. We get along quite well. And how many years have you two been working together? Um, working? Um, we've been together for... Is it... Five years now, yes. <laughs> oh, oh, I found that down there, love. So, these rumours circulating about you and Harry as an item, are they true or wrong? As an item, you mean together? Hi, Harry and Ian, thanks for talking to us at uh, Fun Fiction News. I hear you've just come out of rehab. Oh, don't get me started what, with Harry's ego and... Ron's unbelievably ginger hair. It's just too much. Since you've been in um, rehab, Hermione, I hear you've made friends with Lindsay in Paris. Mm -hmm. Lindsay in Paris? Lindsay Lohan, Paris Hilton? Well, yes, but they're not even that much better than Harry and Ron. I can't, I can't deal with them anymore, darling. Anything else? Right, hi Ron and hi Harry. Hello. Do you two get much fan mail? Oh no! Do you see, as the star, I get the most. I get like 20% more than Ron and Miley put together, because I'm just brilliant. Um, actually, one, one day, Ron, I had a joke in. Listen to this. Um, what's um, Harry Potter so far-fetched? I can believe in the animals and the magic, but one thing I can't believe in is a ginger kid with two friends! Oh, it's you, Ron! Oh, 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 I'm so funny! Man. I'm Harry Potter! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> In sports news, Ireland have beaten Bulgaria in the Quidditch World Cup. However, tomorrow's match has been postponed due to unicorns on the pitch. 